if you download a gizmo from Nukepedia or someone sends one to you, uh, you can install those pretty easily too. So here in my downloads folder, I have testing.gizmos. And uh, if we go into Nuke and we try to search for that, we get no results. Uh, we can copy that file into our .nuke folder. However, uh, it still won't show up. All you need is a menu.py file in your .nuke folder. So how do we go ahead and create one of those? Open your favorite text editor. Here I'm using one called Sublime Text, but Notepad on Windows or text in it on Mac will work just fine. Here is the text that you will need to add. I'll also put this text in the video description if you want to copy and paste it from there. Save that file in our .nuke folder and we relaunch Nuke. Now we see there is a new icon on the side toolbar here and it is called Assorted Gizmos if we hover and there is our gizmo automatically imported in a nice easy to access icon on the side. You can also of course find it at the bottom of this list, which this list is really just a duplicate of your toolbar menu here and testing gizmos. And of course, in the tab search menu, you can name your menu, whatever you want. I just have assorted gizmos here and then make sure you update this first item with the name of the gizmo that you want to give it. And then on the new create node, testing gizmos. This one here needs to be the exact file name of your gizmo uh, minus the dot gizmo. So for example, if we wanted this to be called version one, we could add that there as long as this remains, whatever this is here in your dot nuke folder. You can also set variables in your menu.py, which uh, can keep it a little tidier. You may see this uh, if you're looking at installation instructions from someone else. So it may look like this, where you could say AG for assorted gizmos, and that will just replace this text here. So just so you can see the difference, I'm gonna copy this one down here and just type in AG. So it's a little more readable for uh, the human as uh, I'm assuming you are, I guess it's uh, unsure these days. Uh, and then that will do the same exact thing as this longer one here. And then say you have, you know, 20 more gizmos, uh, it could be a little easier to read if you have less text up here at the front. I want to also talk about the init.py file too. Let's say again, you have 30 gizmos here and you want to tidy it up a little bit in your .nuke folder. So we make a new folder and we call it gizmos and we drag our gizmo into gizmos. And now if we restart Nuke and we try to create our gizmo, because remember the menu.py file, we haven't adjusted that. So it still is creating these things, but the gizmo has been moved and Nuke can't access it. So how do we tell Nuke where to look? Well, let's go ahead and close out of here because it will require a restart. We can go ahead and create another text file in our .nuke folder called the init.py and that's gonna tell Nuke where to look. Let's open our text editor and add the following line, nuke.plugin add path, and you do have to have the capitals in the same way. And then we're just gonna tell it which folder to look in. Look for gizmos. I believe you can also leave it just like that, but I like to have that in there. And now let's go ahead and save this to our .nuke folder as well. Now, if we restart Nuke, our assorted gizmos menu is here. And if we click on testing gizmos again, now it's created. Thanks for watching this video on installing new gizmos with menu.py and init.py files. I always had a hard time finding quick, easy to access information when I first started working with Nuke. And so I hope this helps some people get over that initial hump where you just want to know where to put the dang files. Uh, <laughs> I have a couple other videos talking about gizmos and tool sets if you want to check those out as well. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped and happy comp.